Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is almost Christmas, which I think is so insane because I feel like yesterday was literally my birthday and my birthday is in August. So it's absolutely crazy that in two days it's Christmas, but that's really exciting because that means in two days I will be picking the winner of my giveaway, which I will be announcing the following day. So keep a lookout for the video. I'm not gonna announce my winner on social media. I'm gonna put it in the video. That way people actually watch the video. Look at that. So. Really excited for that, um, but today I'm gonna bring you a different kind of video that is very, again, different than what I've done already. Um, I've never done just kind of like a sit down, like talk to y'all type of video, so that's what this is gonna kind of be about obviously what the title of this video is. So for friends and family that know me, you've already heard this story a thousand times, you don't have to watch this obviously, but I really appreciate you being here, but for people that don't, and for people that might be, you know, starting New Year's resolutions or wanting to have a lifestyle change, I want to tell you a little bit about my story so that you might be able to be inspired or kind of get some tips and tricks or pointers on how exactly to make a lifestyle change when you've already been living a certain lifestyle for 22 years. So I'm trying to figure out where to begin this video and I'm not really sure, so I'll just begin it back to probably high school. Um, I was always overweight in high school and middle school and elementary school, I was always overweight. But high school, it got really, really bad. Um, I was in a not amazing relationship and that didn't really help anything, um, but it was me to blame. I just had no self-control and I didn't really care to work out and I didn't really care that I was overweight. Um, but going into college, I started to care a little more. I wanted to do things that other people were doing. I wanted to be a part of things and I felt like I couldn't be because I just couldn't keep up. I was just always tired and I was always bogged down and there was a lot of things that I couldn't do that I didn't want to miss out on simply because of my weight. I didn't think that was fair, but at the same time, it was no one else's fault but my own. So probably sophomore year of college, I think was sophomore year, I went to a Gold's Gym, which there's one here in my town, and I signed up for a personal trainer. Um, my dad actually paid for it for me because he recognized how big of a need this actually was. Um, I was extremely unhealthy. I'll put pictures in everything so you guys are aware of just like what we're talking about here. Um, so I signed up for a personal trainer and I wasn't really sure this would work because I'd done diets and I'd done everything in the world and I just had never been successful. But for some reason, I clicked really well with this personal trainer and I'll put all of her links down below. Um, if you want to contact her, if you're somewhere close um, or not, even just I'm sure she'll try and figure something out for you because she's literally amazing and she's so accommodating. But um, her name was Stacey Jenkins and um, I signed up to work out with her three days a week and she put me on a very intensive, what I thought was intensive, but looking back, it was not <laughs> at first because I could not do anything. Um, a very intensive exercise regimen and gave me pointers basically on like what things I should probably stay away from, pizza, ice cream, um, and stuff like that. And gave me ideas on like healthy things to eat and like what I could be doing when I wasn't at the gym. Um, so I did that and I was extremely, extremely strict on myself for probably the first six months. Um, I cut out all carbs except for vegetables. I just cut out all like starchy carbs. So like rice and bread and potatoes and stuff like that. Um, and I ate only meat and vegetables, no dairy, no anything, literally meat and vegetables and water. And that was it. And I had been like severely caffeine addicted before this and like sugar addicted, I'm sure, and all this other stuff. So for me, this was a major like change and like I went through all this crazy stuff like I was always like crying because I wanted to eat what I wanted to eat but I knew this was so important to my health and to my well-being like mentally too so I'm not gonna say it wasn't hard because it was like nearly impossible but I had so much support from like everyone um just to like do my best and to get to a point where I was healthy wherever that may have been for me. No one pressured me to get skinny. Everyone just wanted me to be healthy and to be happy because they saw how much my weight was slowing me down. Um, so it took me less than a year to lose 100 pounds and I did it extremely healthy. I did not do any surgery, not that, that is a bad thing because Everyone is different, and let me tell you, if I would have known that was a thing before, I probably would have opted for that, but I was not aware that was an option. Um, but like on that note, if you wanna have surgery, if you want to do 
you know, some kind of medicine, if you want to do like whatever, I mean, that is your choice. And I fully support that because whatever you need to do to get healthy and to get fit, not fit still, um, is totally your business. And I completely support any of that because like, it is so important for you to be healthy and at a weight that you're comfortable with and that you can function daily. Um, which I was not. So I didn't do any of that though, because I really didn't know that that was a thing. Um, so I just worked out almost every single day. I worked out with my trainer three days a week. I was extremely clean eating and got a ton of sleep. Like I was really, really killing it. Like for these like six months to a year, um, I kind of fell off the bandwagon a little bit after six months or off the wagon. Um, but those six months were great. Um, so I did that and it was really hard. I'm not going to tell you that if you're starting this journey, it's going to be easy. I don't think anyone would, but it's a lot harder than you even think it will be because not only is your body changing, but it changes your mind too. Like it changed how I felt about myself, how I felt about other people. Because let me tell you, when you lose weight, people treat you differently. They just do. And people that never gave you the time of day all of a sudden want to be your best friend. And you got to watch out for those people because keep those people away. So like, you don't know what's going to happen until you're going through this, but it was such an amazing experience, despite the fact that I just said it was horrible and hard, because it was, but you learn so much about yourself through that. Like, I didn't think I was a strong person. I didn't think I was a courageous person, but like, I did it. I mean, I did it with help, but I did it. Like, it was me that had to work out. It was me that had to eat the right food, and I did, and I have no idea looking back how I did that, because now, like, imagining living that lifestyle, I just can't. Obviously, I am not quite as fit as I was when I was doing this. Um, but you learn so much about yourself and you gain so much respect for yourself as a person because you you put all that time and you put all that effort into it and you do it and you literally change your entire body. And like 100 pounds is a lot. Like that's a person, like a very small person, but a person. And I never thought that was something I was capable of. I was always, you know, shy and quiet, um, except around people I knew really well. But I didn't think I would ever be the person that, you know, just went out and decided I was going to lose 100 pounds and did it. Um, you hear about that like on TV. You don't hear about that from your neighbor. So that, I guess, I found a lot of confidence in the fact that I literally woke up a morning and said that that was enough. So if you're in that same place, like let this be your like sign that like this is the time. And even if it's not, like maybe it's coming up for you or maybe you just wanted like inspiration for something else. But like let this be your sign that like, this can be your life change. Like you can literally change your life at any point. Like some people do it when they're 16. Some people do it when they're 60. Like you're never too old or too young to decide that this isn't the life you want to live and you're going to live it differently. I'm like a firm believer on every single choice you make can completely change your life and that you are in 100% control of your life. I don't believe that anyone else's choices have any impact on you. Um, just because I like to take responsibility for what I do, even if it's a little farther down the road, <laughs> I like to think that you know, where I am is because of, you know, what I've done. And a lot of it's because of my parents, but also like the choices that I've made. So, um, I just want to make this video and tell you guys kind of about that whole situation and let you guys know if you guys ever need any advice or if you ever need any inspiration or anything like that. Like I'm here to talk to y'all. Like I didn't want this channel to just be like, here's my new coat. I love this eyeshadow. Like I found so much inspiration from other YouTubers just personally like for things that were not fashion or beauty related like for like my happiness like Mallory Irvin I don't understand like how she's like a blessing to this earth and how not everyone knows about her if you need inspiration seriously check her out she'll change your life but I wanted to come on here and be like a voice to people if they needed it you know and whatever they needed it for um maybe you don't need to lose weight and this is not your video but maybe you need inspiration for something else like here it is here's me telling you like this is the best time. Like any time is the best time. Like maybe you're going through like who knows what, but just because you're going through a ton of stuff doesn't mean you can't make a life change and make yourself happier because like I always say this to people and I always think about this, but like you literally only get this day one time and you only get this life one time and do not spend it unhappy because you are not going to get it back at the end. You're going to get just this. And that is like such a mind blowing fact to me that like if I don't live this day the way I want it to, 
I'm not going to get it back tomorrow. Like I'm going to have to live a whole new one and I'm not going to have the chance to live this one again the way I want to. So seriously, like think about that and live your life accordingly because I just got real preachy, but that's okay. Live your life accordingly because you literally only get to do it one time and it is too short to be unhappy for any reason, whether you're overweight, whether you're in a bad relationship, whether you want to go back to school, whether school isn't for you. Like there are any number of things that you can change and make yourself happy that could be the best decision you've ever made. Like, obviously think about it. Don't drop out of college just because I made this video. But think about if you're really happy and if you're not, you really need to figure out why and try and change that. Because I'm sitting here telling you that like it took me 19 years to figure out that I wasn't happy like as the person that I was. And I've been living my life like wildly happy since then and now I'm like engaged and I'm living in my house with my best friend and like I have the most amazing relationship with my parents and I really don't feel like any of that would have happened if I hadn't looked at myself in the mirror and said you know I'm done like I'm done with this so if you need an inspirational video I just came out here to do that for you so um if you guys have any questions on what exactly else I did to lose weight I mean obviously I just ran you through it worked out constantly and ate really healthy but like it doesn't have to be this do or die thing for you. It was for me. If I cheat on my diet, it is like downhill, like really bad. So for me, I really couldn't, but like maybe for you, it's just cutting out certain things. Like maybe it's not that. And that's fine. Like however you want to do it, if you want to do it, like I applaud you because it is so, so hard, but it is so important. So anyway, if you have any questions at all, please let me know if you have any things you want to see, any other videos you want to see that are like this or anything else, like please leave a comment. Again, I'm like super receptive to opinions and I would love to make this channel exactly what y'all want to see. Like that's why I'm here. So again, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying my giveaway. I'm really excited to announce that and send that to that person, which by the way, the packaging is going to be beautiful. So not only do you get a good gift, you get good packaging. Um, so I'm really excited to make that video for y'all and please like and comment and subscribe. I'm so glad that y'all are all here and I'm glad that I'm here. This has brought me so much joy and I hope it brings you joy too. So thanks for watching.